everybody. Happy Monday. I know, pick yourself up. <laughs> the week is just starting, so grab your cup and, and we will get on the road. We'll get started together. So, hope you had a nice weekend. My weekend was amazing. I got to uh, go down to Costa Mesa and do an event and uh, my friend Bronnie really always knows how to do everything the right way so we, we had a great time it was really a lot of fun and it was just incredible to deliver messages from loved ones in spirit to audience members and it just it was such a beautiful beautiful night good morning sally nice to see you hey susan nice to see you this morning good morning good morning so it does look like it's gonna rain in LA. We got a little rain cloud right there. <laughs> hey, Andy, good morning. Hi, Kathy, nice to see everybody. So I hope you were able to get out over the weekend. Yesterday we had our spirit service. I don't know if anybody saw it online, but if you didn't, make sure you join the group. It's Colby Rebel Spirit Center. It's a Facebook group. Join the group and you can actually watch the service and replay. The mediums were unbelievable. It was so uh, inspiring to see them work and in that space that we have. Good morning, Laurel. Thank you, Bronnie. Good morning, Kara. Oh, everybody is here. Good morning, Melissa. Good morning. So here's the deal. Today, we're going to talk about negative head space. Yeah. <laughs> You know, that space there that what happens is you have uh, either something that didn't go the way you planned or a negative thought and all of a sudden it gets put in the spin cycle inside your head and you replay it and replay it or you rethink it over and over and over that's that negative head space. So what happens is it will go on a loop, right? Just the same as you play a song on loop, that's what will happen. It will continuously do it unless you actively say you got to stop, no more, no mas, right? Because otherwise, when we get into that loop, we will start to believe it and we'll start to associate that with our own identity, which it isn't, it's irrelevant. And let's say you say to say something, good morning, Kelly. Let's say, um, you know, either you had an experience that didn't go the way as planned or a conversation that went off or uh, something you wanted to do and either it wasn't as successful as you wanted it to be or you're struggling with, um, putting it out there or putting anything out there. So, <laughs> hi, Jerry. <laughs> so funny. Um, but that negative headspace, it's like a recorder on loop and it will absolutely sabotage you. It will, you know, we don't sit there when something's positive. When you have a positive experience, you don't sit there and replay that. And why, I don't know, right? But when we have something that goes amazingly well, we're not sitting there replaying it and replaying it. We celebrate it and we let it go. Yet the minute something's negative, the minute it isn't as planned, or the minute we get lost in our thought, we play it over and over and over. And it's like, ha, huh, you um, so we have to really work on letting that negativity go because you know what? It can't hold on. We, we can't hold on to the positive and the negative at the same time. So uh, right on today. That's so funny. You, I, I love how you, I love when I hear, oh my goodness, this is exactly what I've been thinking or this is so right on for me because you know what? It makes me feel like I'm not alone. <laughs> um. But that negative headspace. So here was an idea I had is, uh, you know, Brownie was mentioning the other day, Lent is coming up. And she's right, it is. And I'm not a, a big religious person. But, you know, why not let go of something? So if you've got 40 days to let go of something, why not let go? So I had this idea, let go of little ego. 
let go of little ego. The little ego, right, that is where those negative headspace comes in, the negative thoughts, the who are you, what are you thinking, why do you think you can do that, uh, you're terrible at it, you're never going to have love, you're never going to be successful, nice try. <laughs> I could go on and on. Not that any of that's from personal experience. <laughs> right? <laughs> um, but, you know, let go a little ego for Lent. All right? Let go a little ego for Lent. So for 40 days, pick one word out of your vocabulary that is not serving your highest good, that is serving little ego, and let that go. All right? So I'm going to make a post about it and put it out there, but that's uh, an idea that I had to, to sit there and say, let's go, let's do this. So when we have that, Stan is here. He wants to say hi. Do you mind if he says hi? Here, hang on, hurry up. Let's do it. Let's see if we can get him. Oh, is he going to run away? Did I scare him? Hey, buddy. Hey, boo. Oh, you're saying hi to everybody. Saying hi to everybody. <laughs> I know. I'm crazy. I'm crazy. That's all right. Someone's got to be crazy. Then you, you, then you all can look so sane. <laughs> the crazier I look, the more normal you are, right? So... <laughs> All right, so your negative headspace. Here's the deal, guys, gals. Um, we got to let it go. <laughs> we got to let it go because your negative headspace will not get you to the next level. All right? Your negative headspace will hold you back. Your negative headspace will paralyze you. I'm not saying that it's not normal that we have it. I'm not saying, and we all have it. I think it's part of that growth. It's part of that human nature. It's part of us overcoming our own insecurities. Being insecure is actually kind of a good thing, right? Because it shows you're grounded. You're grounded, you're anchored, you're pushing yourself outside your comfort level. All right? So, Having some insecurity, having some fear, some, oh my goodness, what am I thinking? That's not necessarily a bad place. You just don't want to stay in that negative space, all right? So when you're having those thoughts and feelings, in a way, it's positive because it means you're pushing yourself. You're going outside the comfort zone on some level. Otherwise, you wouldn't, you wouldn't think about it. It wouldn't be a negative, oh, what am I doing? So applaud yourself. Be proud of yourself that you're pushing. But don't harbor and hang in the loop. Let go of the loop. Let go of the vocabulary. Let go of the negative self-talk. Because you won't achieve what you're doing. You won't achieve what you're trying to put out there if you're, if you're staying in the negative loop. <laughs> If you could see him. Um, so, how do we do it? All right. Let go of the words. So, pick that word a day. Let go of it. Release it from the vocabulary. And if you find yourself using that word, even after you put it in the, the penalty box for the next 40 days, that's a good mindful of what kind of talk are you saying to yourself? What are you doing to yourself? How are you talking to yourself? So, do that. Now... With that negative word, here's what I want you to do. I want you to replace it with a positive word. Replace it with something good. Replace it with something normal, with something positive, with something loving. All right? Do that. Because when you can start, then we can start replacing what we're saying to ourselves. How are we talking to ourselves? All right? So that may be how... Um, I'm horrible for pushing myself outside of my comfort zone. Well, see, listen to that. I am horrible. That See, Andy? Andy, right there. Horrible is going to be your first word out of your negative self-talk. <laughs> so, everybody, Andy's first word for his first day of the 40 days is horrible. <laughs> um, but, yeah, listen. We can all be afraid of judgment. Here's the, you know, but just... 
Who cares? People are going to judge anyway. It doesn't even matter. You can have the best intentions. You could really want and mean the best for everybody. And there is going to be some negative Nelly that is going to come along and, and, and sit there and poo-poo on your parade. All right? It's going to happen. Forget about it. Forget about it. You know, go with the people that are going to love, but go with yourself because when you are so authentic in who you are and what you believe and how you feel and you own that and you sit in it and you marinate in it, I'll tell you what, you're so much more comfortable than worrying about what someone else is thinking about you, right? So there you go. So for your negative negative headspace. I want you to take that negative word, replace it with a positive word. All right. The minute you are in that loop, I want you to acknowledge that you're in the loop. You say, I'm in the loop. I'm in the loop. Abort mission. <laughs> Pull yourself out to then think of something positive, to then switch gears, to then sit there and put yourself in a moment of surrender and trust. Okay. So that is your, your homework, uh, for today. That's a lot of homework, <laughs> but you can do it. All right. You can do it. And, and remember, you know, you are loving and you're beautiful. And you know what, if, if someone is, is going to get out there and judge you, uh, you know, as cliche as it is, it really does say more about them than you. It really does. You know, it's, people are wasting too much time judging other people and deciding how they should, could, and, 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 and trying to live their lives for them. And you don't have time for it. All right. Just remember, you don't have, thank you, Astrid. You don't have time for it. All right. You got stuff to do. All right. You got a mission. You got a purpose. Don't get sidetracked by all that crap. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't get sidetracked by your own negative self-talk, by your negative headspace. Don't do it. Mm-mm. Ah. -mm. Uh -uh. Mm-mm. <laughs> All right? Get out there and be a beautiful self today. All right? Because that's what the world needs. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye-bye.